What is that place? Where the counselors were meant to watch the consecration of the icon. The start of the great journey. There is still time to stop the key from turning. I must get inside. Then mount up, Arbit. I know a way to break those doors. Alright, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kyle, and today we are finishing Halo 2 on Legendary without dying. This is it. This is the moment that we've all been waiting for. This is the great journey coming to an end. And, uh, yeah. So this level, overall, not too bad. I mean, it's kind of tricky. I think this first part is probably the most tedious. Mostly because um, our good friend, um, actually I don't know his name, the commander, the guy in the Wraith, uh, he is constantly just shooting you and does not give a shit about you if you live or die, so kind of plays a bad part, um, you know. Because, yeah, he just shoots his little wraith stuff, and he blew up the ghost I was going to take, too, which is kind of pissing me off right off the bat. There's this wraith right here trying to shoot us. But the commander, he kind of just shoots at whatever. And if you happen to be in the way, uh, he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> so it's kind of annoying. And it also sucks that you can't even drive the wraith on this level. Like, you can't kick him out and take it. I don't think I would want the wraith. But here we go. Now we got a ghost. That's all that matters. That's all I wanted to do. Because we'll need it for this next part. But first, you kill these guys because they're probably just going to follow me and shoot me from behind. And Jesus, that one brute with just a plasma rifle almost killed me. So ridiculous. Okay, so moving on here. There's the scarab that Sergeant Johnson drives in the future. So there's two wraiths that spawn up here. I try to hide behind this tree when I do this because for whatever reason the tree acts as a solid wall and it actually blocks their wraith um, mortars, shots, whatever they are. So one wraith is already down. The good thing about the brutes is they all have the same health. It's not like the elites where maybe there's a white elite in the wraith and it takes forever to kill him. Like They all have the same health so it doesn't really take that long to actually kill them in the Wraith, or any vehicle for that matter. You don't have to worry about getting headshots either, because the Ghost is pretty powerful by itself, just shooting. So once you clear out these enemies here, you can move on to the next part. You can't really... the door's kind of just locked, and you're kind of stuck here until you kill them all. There's a Brute berserking, but also throwing a grenade. I, I still don't understand that, but whatever. <laughs> I think overall I've kind of underappreciated this level. I actually really enjoy it. it. I think it's pretty fun. There's that elite that I abandoned earlier. He actually didn't die. Good for him. I think that's all of them. So I try to grab brute shot ammo here. Um, I don't really know why because I'm, I'm really bad with the brute shot. I don't really use it. But it's good against them in the next part. I thought he was dead. This is one of those reasons why I like this level, because you fight with hunters, which is so fucking cool. I try to protect them as best as I can, but I'm also trying not to die myself, so... <laughs> They're kind of on their own as they go in there. But I think I think one of them survives to the next room. I think. At least one of them. But yeah, there's a shit ton of just brutes in, in that upper level there. They just kind of keep coming. It's actually... I would admit, you know, it's a pretty fair fight. The Brutes against the uh, the Hunters, they're both pretty... pretty strong enemies. And I think they complement each other pretty well. 
shit. My fucking elite was shooting at me. Yeah, one hunter's dead. But the other one's still still kicking. So yeah, this part here, um I mean, there's just there's a lot of uh um, a lot of snipers and brutes in this level, or in this part, I should say. So basically, I'm just, I hang back on this part because I don't want to get sniped. And then the brutes with the brute shots, I mean, it's really unpredictable. Sometimes they hit you directly and then you're just, you're screwed. But as you can see, the snipers are already in. I think I'm just hitting that pillar in front of me. Stupid. But this part, you just got to take it slow. At least that's how I do it. There's other ways to do it, I'm sure. Probably better ways, but the way I do it, I just I try to take one out at a time because I don't know. I never really know exactly how many snipers there are on this part. I want to say three, but I could be wrong about that. So I try to just take them out one by one, use invisibility as much as I can, and then just... Yeah, yeah, I was too slow. <laughs> so, yeah, this takes a little bit of time. Not, not. I'm, I never said I was a speedrunner, so I've been taking my time through Halo 2, and it's really helped me out. Oh man, that was risky. If there was a sniper looking towards me, that would have, that would have killed me. They would have shot me because I was jumping was right in midair, just wide in the wide open. Okay, there's one. Oh, there's that sniper. <sighs> he could have got me there. I don't. I don't know how he didn't, to be honest. But goddamn. And we got this brute kind of berserking back and forth over here. He, I don't know, he doesn't run all the way down here for some reason, which is kind of stupid. Kind of wish he did so I could kill him. But his helmet's not even off yet, so I can't just one-shot him with, in the head. But there you go. Pushed him off. That works. So yeah, now, now to deal with this sniper who is behind that. There he is. Yeah, he almost got me. Or he could have, if he was paying attention. If he was aiming there, he would have shot and killed me, for sure. Honestly, I really love the, uh, the invisibility in this game. <laughs> it's such a huge, like, help, you know? Especially when you're dealing with snipers, and if you poke your head out, you die instantly. Like, if you're invisible, they won't shoot you. They, they just, they can't identify uh, someone that's invisible regardless unless if you touch them or obviously become visible or shoot or anything like that you know but it's just it's such a handy thing all right so this next part um, there's one more sniper in this room but I'm using the I'm using the brute shot to take out these other guys. And then there is a uh, there is a dropship that comes and tries to shoot you on, while you're on this bridge, but I pretty much just move on before it even shows up. Yeah, it shot me like once. And yeah, that's it. And then this next part is pretty cool. 
I love this song. <laughs> they use it a few times in this in this game, and it's just it makes you feel like a badass. But yeah, this is the prison. Uh, just a couple of elites, like really cool looking elites and hunters in this part that you have to rescue. I mean, technically you don't have to rescue them, but you know you're not gonna leave them behind. But yeah, there's a shit ton of brutes in here too. And what I do is I basically just shoot, try and kill one of them on one side, and then I go to the other side, and then I just kind of go back and forth, I try to keep them, keep it unpredictable for the, for them. Because if I just keep popping out of the same side, they're just going to keep shooting at me. They actually got me there once, but that's okay. But yeah, all their attention is on one side, and then I go to the other side try and kill one of them. There we go. Got one. I think. Got another one. But yeah, you just kind of go back and forth. <laughs> it takes a while because there's just there's a lot of them plus it's just like I don't know how you explain it they're just brutes I mean it's like any other any other fight it's just there's so many of them at that part but anyway you shoot those things get those elites out what's up dudes join the fight it's so cool these elites they look so badass but you like hardly even get to play as or with them alongside them and it just, it sucks, because it's like, these elite, elites look so cool. Like, their helmets are cool. They're white elites, like, they just look badass. And then you got two hunters, but this part, it's like, it's over in a second, pretty much. I love how Sergeant, Sergeant Johnson just kind of hops up there, like, he kind of just floats onto the freaking scarab. Oh my god, that almost killed me. I love this part. Listen, you don't like me and I sure as hell don't like you. But if we don't do something, Mr. Mohawk's gonna activate this ring. And we're all gonna die. Tartarus has locked himself inside the control room. Well, I just happen to have a key. Come on, grab a bench and give me some cover. Gonna know what's coming. Alright, so this part is kind of, uh, I don't know, it's not bad, it's just, uh, it's whatever. <laughs> Take my bench, Arbiter! So there's like, I think there's four graves down here? Maybe, maybe just three, but still. Um, yeah, the Scarab does a lot of work uh, against the Wraiths, clearly, but you still have to kind of take them out yourself, and it's a lot of work. This whole section is kind of a lot, because there's just a, a shit ton of Wraiths, and then there's a shit ton of Banshees, and the Banshees will just demolish you super quickly if you're not careful, especially on Legendary, because that's just how it goes. But yeah, they give you one more vehicle section before, before the end of the, the game. And it's kind of funny, this entire level pretty much is just one big circle. Because now you're back at the beginning part where you were at when you started the level. Please don't judge my banshee skills, or my lack of banshee skills. I'm not a very good uh, pilot, I'll admit that. Goddamn. <laughs> that thing just shot one of my wings off.
think I'm going back for the other banshee, yeah. I love how all of your allies that were here, they just kind of despawn. It'd be cool if they went with Johnson in the Scarab. It'd be even cooler if they somehow were able to come with you into the the final room with all of those all of those elites. Not the Tartarus battle, but like right before that. If you had like hunters and those badass looking elites in there with you, that would be pretty cool. Oh shit, there's a banshee. Enemy banshee. Gotta be careful, because like I mentioned, they'll they'll sneak up on you and just they start shooting at you and you die super quick. You have no, you have like no protection inside a banshee or any vehicle in this game. It's bullshit. I mean, you guys, you guys remember me talking about how frustrating it is driving a scorpion in this game and how quickly you can die. There's that banshee. But he's just letting me kill him. Kind of stupid of him, but whatever. So yeah, I mean, this. <laughs> I'm still on this like first section, just trying to take out these guys. I don't know what he's shooting at. He's shooting at the wall. Interesting. But yeah, I try to put my, you know, give myself some distance between the scarab, or not the scarab, the specter, and myself, because if you get too close, they'll start shooting at you. But from up here, it's like he doesn't even register that you're there. Jesus. See how quickly it thing kills me? It's ridiculous. Like I'm in a vehicle, it should have some kind of protection. Or armor, whatever you want to call it. See, I'm, I'm taking too long even for the game because the music stopped playing. It's like, come on, get a move on here. Let's take you so long. But there we go, we finally got the gunner. get the driver. There we go. Take this brand new banshee sitting right here. And then, I don't know why I kill these turret guys. There's really no reason for me to keep them, or to kill them. Just leave them there. Like, it's not a big deal. But, I don't know. I guess I'm just playing it safe. Killing everyone. I could have just kind of flown right by, but I didn't. There we go. Now we can move on. Now around this corner, there's one more turret, and then I think that's it for this section, except for all the banshees that are around the corner. At this part, I just be careful because, like I mentioned already, the banshees will kill you pretty quickly. And then, obviously, one hit from a wraith will kill you, so you gotta watch out for that, too. So there's a lot of regrouping, coming back, trying again. And Sergeant Johnson's just kind of sitting there, sitting pretty, waiting for me. That last one came super close to me. <laughs> There's a banshee up in the corner there. God damn, that was like one hit and half my health went down. It's crazy. Oh, that was close. That wraith almost got me, and then the banshee. If they just kept shooting at me. It would have been would have been done for. This fucking wraith won't die. There we go. 
Okay, so I think there's another set of banshees that come in. I think. Yeah, there they are. Johnson, just open the fucking door already so I can get in there. Oh, almost got me. But we're good. And that's the last of them. Now, remember, Johnson always shoots the door twice, so don't rush in there after the first shot, because he'll kill you. <laughs> I, I learned that the hard way. Alright. So this next part, I fail on this... Um, on this run but there's a way to skip this next part if you just keep running into the door that the brutes come out of but I waited too long and the door actually locked behind me or in front of me see I waited too long the door closed I couldn't get through so I was kind of stuck in here with all these brutes but um, I make it work I missed that first shot <laughs> I think I missed the second shot. Oh no, I got him on the second one. So basically, um, there's another wave of brutes that come in at some point, and then when they come in, I just I rush the door because I do not want to stick around in this room because there's a shit ton of brutes and they just it's just too much. Okay, so the music started. So go. <laughs> oh man. So risky, but we made it. So now it's the final battle between Arbiter and Tartarus. Please use caution. This reclaimer is delicate. One more word, Oracle, and I'll rip your eye from its socket. Which is nothing compared to what I'll do to you. Tartarus, stop. What the hell is that supposed to mean, Tartarus? Put down the icon. Impossible. Put it down and disobey the Hierarchs. There are things about Halo even the Hierarchs do not understand. Take care, Arbiter. What you say is heresy. Is it? Oracle, what is Halo's purpose? Collective Lord, not another word. Please, don't shake the light bulb. If you want to keep your brain inside your head, I tell those boys to chill. Go ahead. Do your thing. The sacred rings, what are they? Weapons of last resort, built by the Forerunners to eliminate potential flood hosts, thereby rendering the parasite harmless. And those who made the rings? What happened to the Forerunners? After exhausting every other strategic option, my creators activated the rings. They and all additional sentient life in three radii of the galactic center died as planned. Would you like to see the relevant data? Tartarus, the prophets have betrayed us. <laughs> no, Arbiter! <laughs> the great journey has begun, and the brutes, not the elite, shall be the prophet's escort. So this is it, uh, this final boss battle. Honestly, not my favorite battle. <laughs> it's kind of annoying, because Tartarus is basically invincible unless until Johnson shoots him like three times, I think, with the beam rifle, and then his shield goes down temporarily. But pretty much, I'm wasting my ammo shooting him right now. But yeah, see, his shield goes down, and it comes back super quick too, so you gotta be ready when Johnson shoots him, just shoot him as much as you can. And then I think, I don't think it's every single time, but a lot of times um, 
a lot of times after Tartar's shield comes down and comes back, brutes spawn. So you gotta keep out. Watch out for that. And I've seen people duplicate Johnson. Um, I forget how they do it. But there's a way where you can get multiple Johnsons at this part and just have them just unload on Tartarus. That, come, that came out wrong. Johnson's unloading. Yikes. Anyway, um, yeah, so... I don't know how they do it, though. I forget. But... I'm not doing that, obviously. There's just the one Sergeant Johnson there. <laughs> Only one of those hit. <laughs> so yeah, I, I can't remember. I feel like this takes me a long time just to get this. Um, but yeah, this is it. I mean, overall, if I had to rank all the Halo games, or Halo, meh, not Halo games, Halo 2 uh, levels specifically. I don't know what my favorite level is. I would say probably... I don't know. That's tough. Because there's some that I enjoy, but they're also super ridiculous and super hard. Like, I really enjoy Regret. But I know that's a difficult level. But I think the soundtrack, the songs that they use in Regret are just some of the best in Halo. So, you know, I'm going to say Regret's probably my favorite level. Um, I've always enjoyed uh, Outskirts. Um, Delta Halo's a pretty fun level. Pretty much all the Master Chief levels. I, I don't know. I've always liked all the Master Chief levels in this one. Um... I mean, you think about the Arbiter, like, I think he has a better story than Master Chief in this game. But when it comes to the gameplay, I think Master Chief's levels are more fun than the Arbiter's levels. Because, like, the Oracle, the Arbiter, uh, Sacred Icon, Quarantine Zone, all those levels are kind of mediocre in my opinion. I don't really like any of them that much. They're not that fun. I just, I mostly feel like the Flood just doesn't really, I don't know, it's not really that fun to play the Flood in this, against the Flood in this game. Like in Halo 1, uh, well even in Halo 1 they were still kind of annoying, but I don't know, they were better in some capacity in Halo 1, I don't know how, I, I'm not an expert, I couldn't, I couldn't analyze it for you, but I just, I enjoy the Flood in Halo 1 more than Halo 2, but anyway. Yeah, I feel like the, the Master Chief levels are overall just uh, more fun to play than the Arbiter ones. But I definitely enjoy Uprising too. I like that level a lot. I think it's a very underrated Halo level. Um, and then of course, as much as um, as much as people like to hate Brave Mind, I actually genuinely enjoy that level. Um, it's a challenge, you know, and I like challenges. Especially challenges that I feel like I could beat. Like, if it's a challenge that I'm never gonna beat and I feel like it would take me hours, like days, hours, months, weeks, whatever the fuck, to try and beat it, I'm not gonna do it. But, Free Mind, I mean, yeah, you know, if you watch the video, I died, what was it, like 99 times practicing, trying to get through it without dying. <laughs> but, um, you know, I had fun doing it. You know, I, I know there was a lot of stress involved, obviously, but I still enjoyed it. So, I don't know, I really like Grave Mine. I know a lot of people don't really like it, but I like it a lot. <clears throat> you know, I don't ever remember it being this... taking this long to kill uh, Tartarus. <laughs> to be completely honest. I don't know. In the past, when I've done Halo 2, I usually play it co-op. But this is just taking forever. It's already been like five minutes, and he's just more running around. Nope. Not yet. 
close. I think we're almost there. <laughs> What's he doing? He's kind of stuck. And Johnson, I hate how Johnson just kind of takes forever just to shoot him. It's like, just keep going. Like, why are you waiting so long between shots? There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, man. I <laughs> just shot a whole clip at him and he still didn't die. He definitely has a lot of health. And... There we go. Now he's dead. And of course, you have to. It's a mandatory teabag. For the main villain. And that's it. That's Halo 2. What's that? A beacon. What's it doing? Communicating at superluminal speeds with the frequency of... Communicating with what? The other installations. Show me. Failsafe protocol. In the event of unexpected shutdown, the entire system will move to standby status. All remaining platforms are now ready for remote activation. Remote activation? From here? Don't be ridiculous. Listen, Tinkerbell, don't make me... Then where? Where would someone go to activate the other rings? Why the Ark, of course. And where, Oracle, is that? We've got a new contact, unknown classification. It isn't one of ours. Take it out. This is Spartan 117. Anyone hear me? Over. Isolate that signal. Master Chief? You mind telling me what you're doing on that ship? Sir, finishing this fight. Nice. It's such a cliffhanger. It's like, that's how Halo 2 ends. And it's like, I don't know. I don't mind the ending. It's just like, I think a lot of people back in the day, they got super pissed off about it because they're like, what, that's it? But, yeah, I think it leads perfectly into Halo 3. And then there's this post credit scene with Cortana and yada yada. The silence fills the empty grave now that I am gone. But my mind is not at rest, for questions linger on. I will ask, and you will answer. All right. Shoot. All right. So that's Halo 2. Um, we're going to get a post credit scene. Or not post credit bleh, The whatever you call it. The stats or whatever here in a second. kind of takes a while for it to pop up. But anyway, there it is. So that was Halo 2. Um, played through the whole thing without dying. Um, of course, it didn't come without its, uh, you know, frustrations. Um, I don't know how many deaths I had total throughout the entire practice. Because I know pretty much every level except for the first one, I died at least sometime, you know. So anyway... That is every single level of Halo 2. Um, thank you guys so much for watching me on this journey. Um, I'll play Halo 3 at some point. I don't know about the other ones, but I'll definitely play Halo 3. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one.